What's up, guys? Gamer Vlog Guy back here with another vlog. I wanted to make another video um, on the NFL National Football League. What's going on with that? Um, obviously, the big news coming out of the NFL this week and, and over the last couple of days. Matthew Stafford has been traded to the LA Rams for Jared Goff, Jared Goff, and a couple of draft picks. Um, I'm so I'm so ecstatic I mean I am happy for Matthew to get out of Detroit to get out of Michigan um, especially the city of Detroit the, the the Lions he's not going to end up being another Barry Sanders thank God or another Calvin Johnson Megatron if you know him he's not going to be another um, you know just floundering in Detroit and you know and us saying shoulda woulda coulda um, I can't be more ha I cannot be more happy for him going to LA uh, much better organization, a better coach, um, a lot more certainty in LA. They're not like Detroit. They they know where they're going day to day. Detroit don't know what they're doing from minute to minute. They just signed a new GM. They got a new coach up there in Detroit. Jared Goff, um, yo, good luck, buddy, going to going to Detroit. Um, I'm just happy. You know, I understand the NFL is a business and everything, but. Seeing Matthew go to, to L.A., that was a business move that I'm very, 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 very happy about. There's a lot of people who don't like it, who think Matthew Stafford's past his prime. I've seen some of the, the debate shows, blah, 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 blah. Listen, I don't believe that. I think Matthew still has, you know, obviously gas in the tank. And, and believe it or not, I actually think that they're going to actually d do something in these next couple of years, and he could possibly win a Super Bowl with the L.A. Rams. I think Matthew Stafford, and call me crazy, but I think he's a better quarterback and better fit for that organization than Jared Goff was. I like Jared Goff, don't get me wrong. I like him when he came out of California, came out of Berkeley, uh, getting drafted, and then, you know, but I just think Matthew, to me, I, you know, I like him. I followed him. He came out of Georgia, you know, he came out of the University of Georgia, you know, in Athens. Was drafted by Detroit, played his basically his whole career there up till this point, and then now going to an organization like the LA Rams, who has a lot of great talent, a lot of you know has a good defense, great offense, great great you know great offense, great wide receivers, great running back. You know, I mean, they just they're just you know great. Um, to me, I just can't you know again, I just can't be more happier for Matthew uh, leaving and going to Los Angeles. Uh, I see LA doing a lot of good things in, in these in these coming seasons, starting with this year in, in, in September. Uh, once his give, once he gets the playbook under his belt or, and knows that and studies that, and gets in that system with Sean McVay, I like him. He's a great coach out there in Los Angeles. Um, he's he, I, I just you know again he just he's just going to have a lot of great 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 great. And I'm, you know, in a capital G R E A T talent around him, way more better than what the, what it was what what he had in Detroit. And I, I just can't be more happier for the for for Matt. Um, like I said, a big fan of him. I love him. Coming out of uh, Georgia, I watched him at college. I watched him in Georgia, watched him in Detroit, and then now I get to watch him in L A. Which I will be watching. I do have the NFL Sunday ticket, by the way. I will be watching that this season. Uh, getting the NFL Sunday ticket again. And I also will be following his career uh, going forward with the LA Rams. But again, I can't be more happier for the uh, for Matthew and his and, and going to that new team of his in, 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 in LA called the LA Rams. Uh, wow. Um, I just I just can't stop thinking about the talent that's going to be up there. I mean out there with him in, in LA. And it's he's not going to be like and another thing too that's going to start helping in his favor too. He's going to this. He's going to, he's going to the southwest, the city of Los Angeles. He's leaving a cold, deserted city and in a cold, deserted organization to a brighter, more full of life organization in L.A. With a GM that actually cares, that actually has again, actually has. A plan or where he wants to take his organization compared to the GM and the owner in Detroit. I can't emphasize that enough. There's structure. He did not have structure in Detroit. He had day-to-day -day chaos, from what I'm hearing. There, and, and you know it. 
if you're a Lions fan, you know your your, your organization. And I'm not saying that the I'm not saying that the Buster Chops or anything, but I'm just saying just as as a football fan, to me, and I'm not even an LA Rams fan, I'm a, but I am a Matthew Stafford fan. And to me, he, oh my gosh, I mean, I could not be more happier for him. I mean, obviously, I wanted him in Dallas with the Cowboys, but the second team going to LA, oh boy, uh, I just can't be more more happier for him to go uh, to. Uh, a new organization. He'll be able to, you know, he's going to be able to make the playoffs. He'll, he'll make the playoffs. He'll be able to see what, and, and, and that's what, and that's something else I want to say too. You, he's going to, you're going to actually see him, get to actually see him play football. You, he's going to be given a chance to actually play and actually show off his talent and make the playoffs, make the Pro Bowls, get, and eventually, hopefully get to a Super Bowl, get to a conference championship, get that experience. He's been in the league for 11 years, and he never once, that I know of, maybe once or twice in his career out of out of those 11 years, made the playoffs. One or two. That's that's not good. Two seasons out of 11. The other eight season he had the other nine seasons out of out of 11, only two of them he made the playoffs. Say, nine of those other seasons he had losing records. Now he's going to have winning records. Now he's going to be, you know, he's going to a team where he's going to be a 10 and 6, 11 and 5, 12 and 4, 13 and 3. Winning records. Going to the playoffs. Competing for championships. And, and, I, and, I, and that's nothing, there's, that's all I would ask for as a fan of Matthew is to give him a shot. Give him a fight, a puncher's chance to win a Super Bowl. And I trust Sean McVay in, in Los Angeles with him. I trust I trust the process. I trust that team, the talent around them. It, it's to me, it's it's amazing. Um, offense and defense the side of the ball. More talent in LA, way more. I mean, I, that that goes without saying. Uh, wow, I, I'm just super excited. I can I wish I wish the season started tomorrow. You know, I wish tomorrow was was you know, you know, week one of the NFL. Where he can start competing. Oh, uh, man. Honestly, I know the Sunday is the Super Bowl. I'll give my thoughts on that. Uh, coming up on Friday. Um, a special video coming out Friday. Uh, my official pick for the Super Bowl, and I'll tell you why. Um, who I'm picking and why I'm picking that team. Um, so, anyway. Um, but, yeah, back to Matthew Stafford. Oh, my gosh. Uh, it's just, just amazing. Uh when I heard that, I was just so excited, so giddy. Um, I know I'm just a fan, and I'm on here babbling, but like, oh my gosh, like, he's going to have a shot now. He's going to have a chance to get a ring on his finger. That I don't care if you're defense, offense, special teams, whatever position you play. Pop Warner, high school, Pee Wee, college, getting into the NFL. Your goal is not to win a Super Bowl and, and to host a Lombardi Trophy over your head. If you don't dream of that, being a football fan, no matter what stage you are you are at in your football career, no matter if it's high school, college, whatever, if your dream is not to win a, win a championship and be the be a Super Bowl MVP, then you sh you just, just you should just stop playing now. That's just my opinion. Um, if you don't care enough to win or care enough to win a championship, you shouldn't be playing. And that's and that's and that's not Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford's a winner, and he's proven that. He just he just to me he just didn't have the talent. Now he will. And you know, call me crazy. I may be putting too much emphasis on this and too much hype in him and in his in his stock. But I'm telling you, it's going to be it's going to be night and day believe me it's going to be night and day it's going to and that's all i can explain it's it's going to be night and day in la versus detroit it's night and day you're going to actually get to see him play and again i'm going to say this again you're going to actually get to see him play football for 60 minutes four quarters 15 minutes a quarter every sunday every week you're going to have a chance to see him compete and you give him a shot to compete you give him talent, I guarantee you he's going to take that team to the promised land, and they'll win a Super Bowl. And he'll be the first quarterback to play for the L.A. Rams, not St. Louis Rams, 
The LA, the LA Rams have never remember the LA Rams have never won a Super Bowl. They won a Super Bowl when they were the St. Louis Rams with Kurt Warner in two thousand when they beat the Titans in Super Bowl thirty four. They never won in LA. They got, got I think they got there once as the LA Rams. They got there once and they lost barely. I think they lost like thirty eight to nine to the Raiders or something, to the Oakland Raiders or something. But it was pretty brutal. They did. It was, it was just bad. I think they went there. I think they went there again, and they lost too. I think they went there twice as the LA Rams. I know they went there twice as St. Louis. Won one, lost one. Um, but yeah, like, subscribe, comment, and again, congratulations to Matthew Stafford on your new team. And you know, I, I can't think of a, of a better guy, to, a better man to, to trade for if you're the LA Rams organization. Uh, this kid, he is a special talent. And he deserves this. And again, Matthew, congratulations on the uh, the opportunity that you're given. Um, you deserve it. And you know, go out there and get what you and get what you deserve, and that's a championship. You know, I can't wait to see you competing. You know, starting week one, and I can't wait to see you. Um, hopefully, see you in the Super Bowl in the near future, and leading the LA Rams to a Super Bowl victory. You know, I'm going to be pulling them for you. And congratulations to um, Matthew Stafford and the LA and, and the LA Rams organization. Uh, to me, it's a both win-win. The LA Rams got a great quarterback, a great talent, a great human being. And Matthew Stafford is going to a great, great organization, a winning organization with great talent around them. So again, it's win-win on both sides of the on, on both sides of the fence. So again, thank you again for watching. Again. I can't emphasize it enough. Congratulations, Matt. The one-time Bulldog came out of Georgia. Uh, you know, congratulations, Matthew, um, on your new uh, new ventures. I hope I wish you nothing but the best in Los Angeles. And go 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 and go go get what's yours, and that's a championship. Go get that Vince Lombardi trophy, buddy. You deserve it. Uh, like subscribe, like subscribe, comment, and peace out.